you are welcome back to my channel thank you for tuning in if you are a new subscriber thank you for coming to my channel to see one or two things and if you are a returning subscriber i want to welcome you back thank you very much so this morning i'm going to be sharing with you how to assemble this motor and controller as we all know this is the head of a manual machine and i know most people don't know that you can actually make use of a motor attached to it to ease your yourself because instead of using the the pedal for the for the table and winding to so close you can as well make use of a motor this is electronical in, in process so this is the package this is how it's been sold it's called a sewing machine motor and controller as you can see this is the package well packaged from the market and i think a couple of years back two years ago i i normally buy this for 2500 to 3000 but now i was able to get this for 6500 so it's as good as double the price even over so i'll be showing you how to assemble this so i'm going to be unboxing this this is the way it looks like this is it so we have the controller here this is the controller let me show you this is the way it is this is the controller so this serves as the pedal for the manual machine to replace the manual machine this serves as the pedal and if a driver this is like a, a tattoo when driving there is a spring inside kind of so another one we have the motor itself this is the motor and this we can call this as the real engine what we really needed this is the way it looks like this is the motor this is the engine the maker is ambro ambro so this is the engine and also we have a small rubber band here this is a rubber band this serves as the rope we use to connect the head with the pedal so we have the rubber band here also that we'll be using and also we have some knots here some knots here is available for us to put this together for his then the last one here we have the manual we have the manual we have the manual of how to couple it so this time around i'll be showing you then the external tools we'll be needing for this is a screwdriver this is a screwdriver so it has two mounts this is a star mount and a two edged mount but this will be making you the of the two edged mount will not be using the star mount because the mount the, the mount of the motor is like this so let's start with the exercise so the first thing first is to get our rubber remove our rubber band remove our rubber band remove our rubber band then we we'll put it at the head here we we'll put it at the head we we'll make sure it enters this place We make sure it enters this place just place it exactly where you put your rope so this is dropped already then we'll bring out our motor this motor the real engine with the knot inside this package there's a big knot here we have this this one this is the way it looks like this is a knot so we are going to check the side of our machine this roller here there's a place here 
this side can we all see it this side this side can we see it i hope you can see it very well that is where we are going to place the motor so the motor is like this this side we are going to place it at this side if you notice this this shape is the same thing as this shape so we are going to place it here and there's a hole here already there's a hole here already so we are going to place it there we'll place it there then we'll take our knot this knot we'll try to screw it a little bit we are not going to tighten it yet so we'll take this rubber this rubber band place it here we'll place it here but you make sure you pull it back so that it should be very tight in order to help our sewing so then we mix with our screwdriver to tighten it up you make sure it is very what very tight you pull this motor back so that this rubber must be very tight you screw it Then you check the rubber if it is soft then it means it's not well tightened as you can see it's a little bit soft we're losing it again to ensure it's resting well see the way i'm pushing it the way it's resting well it's showing that this thing is very tight then i knot it back can we all see it so if i touch it now can we see can we see it's very tight now it's very tight it's very tight so after that we we'll go ahead with our controller which substitutes for our pedal this is the way this is the way it is this is the way it is so there's an head here this is the head which we are going to fix here you can see an opening here there's an opening here just put it it has three hole we are going to put it here also then after which we are going to drop this we are going to drop this on the floor drop this on the floor drop this on the floor where the other hand we are going to plug it into an extension to connect with the electricity we are going to connect so i'm going to connect this now to the electricity so it's connected now it's connected now as we all know the thread has been passed so for this i'm going to be using my leg i'm going to be using my leg i'll place my leg on this but this doesn't require too much pressure so you have to be doing it slowly just press it a little bit so this is the way it is let me check the connection so okay can we see so you just press gently before you know it you just start sewing start sewing start sewing just see my leg you just press a little bit press a little bit then you sew press a little bit then you sew i will sew just a piece now just to show you an example of the way it is let me try to pass the thread again because i have to remove the thread so as to practicalize it for us Okay, so the thread has been passed now. 
the thread has been passed now so i'll quickly get a piece a piece of cloth to ensure that this is working perfectly so this is a piece of cloth let us put it in practice to see what we are doing can we also this is so soft can we also just press gently can we see can we see it's showing and it's sewing very well sewing very well so this i'm doing this so that it's to just you know reduce the stress of winding of machine and all that so you can do this at your comfort zone if you have something like this as many as you have just get your con your your motor and your controller i hope this is helpful and i hope this is a a good tip for <laughs> for people that doesn't want to stress themselves in you know probably getting an industrial machine which is kind of expensive now it's something you can go for a sewing machine motor and a controller i hope this is helpful i hope this is helpful so go rush to the market and what gets your wound now i wish you good luck as you journey in your sewing process so once again to like come your way don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe you know you enjoyed this give it a thumbs up and also comment in the section whatever you want whatever question you want to ask about this feel free to ask me and i will always watch respond thank you very much i had and have a wonderful weekend bye